In this video, I'm going to solve the same problem that I solved graphically in the last video, but using an algebraic approach. So this is something that would work uh, for vectors of larger dimension than just two components, um, and also something that you haven't graphed beforehand, because those might be two obstacles that would make the graphic approach very difficult. Um, so first I'm going to just set up the equation. So s times the vector u, 1, 2, plus t times the vector v, negative 4, 1, equals 1, negative 7. And now I'm going to perform the scalar multiplication. So s times 1, s times 2, and I'm having some trouble with my writing utensil here, I'm sorry plus the scalar t times the vector negative 4, 1. So negative 4t, t is equal to 1, negative 7. And then I want to combine those vectors on the left side. So s minus 4t and 2s plus t is equal to the vector 1, negative 7. From here, we could write a system of equations. s minus 4t is equal to 1, and 2s plus t is equal to negative 7. So we could solve this system either uh, by combining the equations and, and doing a, maybe, or maybe doing a substitution, substitution method or elimination that you learned in your early algebra classes, or we could set up an augmented matrix. And that's the approach I'm going to take here. So the augmented matrix corresponding to this system of linear equations would be 1, negative 4, 1, and then the second row would be 2, 1, negative 7. Now I want to pause right here and point out that what we've drawn here is a matrix whose first column is the vector u, the second column is the vector v, and then the constant column over here is the vector that we want as our result. So in finding the multiples here of u and v, we end up setting up this augmented matrix. This is going to be a process that we'll use quite a bit. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, so now to, for finding the solution, um, we already have a 1 in the top left corner. So I would first want to eliminate the 2 here. And I could do that by taking negative 2 times row 1 and add that to row 2. The resulting matrix then is, let's see, first row stays the same. Second row, I've got negative 2 plus 2, so 0. Then I've got positive 8 plus 1, so 9. And then negative 2 plus negative 7, so negative 9. And then now if I do 1 ninth times row 2, I have 0, 1, negative 1. So now this last row tells me that t is equal to negative 1. To find the value of the scalar s, I could then substitute that value of t into either equation. I guess I'll, I'll take um, something more similar to the back substitution that you used in previous problems. So uh, row 1 says that s minus 4 times t, which I know now is negative 1, is equal to 1. So s plus 4 is equal to 1, which implies, I'm sorry for the arrows everywhere, that s is equal to negative 3. And this is the same solution that we found in the previous example video using graphing methods.